Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study bar models in addition and subtraction. We're also going to study some equations with x, an unknown. Here I have a bar model. Think of it as a long board that is here cut into two pieces. And the total length of the board is 56. 56 of some units. You can imagine 56 centimeters, inches, something. And then one part is 15 units, and this is our unknown part, marked with the x. Now, you can easily solve how long x is, right? By subtracting. 56 minus 15. It would be 41 units long. But what we're going to do is not so much to solve it, but to write a fact family. You remember fact families? Two additions, two subtractions, using the same three numbers. And x is a number too, right? It is just unknown at first. The addition I can write is x plus 15 equals 56. The other addition in a fact family was where you switch these numbers, get 15 plus x. That still equals the total. And the subtraction starts with the total. 56, the total length. Take away one part, the x, and then the part of 15 would be left. And the other subtraction, 56 minus the other part, 15, and then this part would be left. And like I already noted, this is the operation that you can do to solve for x. Okay, you subtract 56 minus 15, and that equals x. Over here is a bar model. Let's write one addition and then one subtraction to match it and solve for x. The addition would be, of course, add those two parts. 59 plus x equals 172. This could be an equation in a math book for you to solve. Okay, so this matches this bar model. And now, from the bar model, or maybe you know already how to solve it, how do we solve this? How do we find what x is? We take the total, 172, and subtract 59, right? And then we get, okay, this is, you can subtract 60 instead. It's like a helping problem, an easier problem. So 172 minus 60 would be 112. But when we subtract 60, we're subtracting 1 too much. So therefore, the answer is actually 1 more than 112. It is 113. Over here, our task is to draw a bar model to match this equation, this subtraction with an unknown. OK, remember about subtraction, it starts with the total. So, OK, if I draw here, this bar model, then the total is my x. And then this would be one part. And if this is taken away, let's put it like that, if this is taken away, then 250 is left. And so now you can see how to solve x would be to add those two together. And that is 300. 89. Did you get the same? Let's do the same here. We're going to draw a bar model to match this equation. Okay, just draw something. There's going to be two parts again. What is the total this time? And what are the two parts? Subtraction starts with the total, so 163 is our total length of this bar, and then x and 39 are the parts. Now, actually, I could have put 39 here and x here because I think x will be the bigger part, but it won't matter so much. This model is just to help you think. Now, how would you find what x is? It's one of the parts. You take the total and subtract 39. So x will be 163 minus 39. Again, you can subtract 40 here. And then since you're subtracting one too much, then add one back in. So we will get 100.
24. Right, Matthew? Right. Andy has saved $90 and then he gets $125 from a job. He wants to buy a guitar for $339. How much more does he need? Let's draw a bar model. How would you draw a bar model for this situation? Think about the total. What will be the total? What will be the parts? The total is the total cost of the guitar. $339. And then parts, okay? One part would be $90 that he has saved. Another part is what he gets when he works. And then there is the unknown part. How much more does he still need? So he would get a total of $300. 39, right? This time the bar model has three parts. I can write an addition, okay? The addition would be adding the parts like that and getting the total. And I can write various subtractions. What subtraction would I write to solve for x, to find how much x is? I would take the total, let me write it here, 300 39, I would take away the 90 and take away 125, and that would give me my x. Now, when you're calculating, you can subtract like that, or many times what is easier is to add these two together first, 125 plus 90, and then subtracting this number from 339, right? Wouldn't that work as well? So that's our answer. X equals $124. Lastly, Matthew is providing us a word problem. Okay, let's see. Matthew bought three puzzle books for $7 each. Are you always buying puzzle books, Matthew? Oh, it's because he loves them. Okay, you know, some people buy videos and Matthew buys puzzle books. And now he has $38 left. How much did he have at first? What kind of bar model could we draw this time? There's puzzle books and now he has $38 left. Okay, what would be the total for the bar model? The total. It's the total money he had at first. He had a lump sum of money at first. That's our total. Let's draw it here. How much did he have at first? That's what we don't know. It's asking for this. That's our unknown. Okay, so that's, I'm going to put X here. We don't know how much he had at first, but that's the total sum of money he had. And then these parts are, it's these puzzle books. Seven dollars each and then how much he had left after buying them. So there's seven dollars, seven dollars, seven dollars and then thirty-eight dollars left. Right? So he has x dollars of money and then after these are taken away, thirty-eight is left. So you can write a subtraction but that will not solve for x. If you want to find x, what do you do? Math is telling me. Obviously, you add all those together. Yes, exactly. x equals 7 plus 7 plus 7, or 3 times 7 here, plus 38. So we have 3 times 7. That's 21 plus 38. These are all dollar amounts, so let's put the dollar sign here. We get $59. That's how much you had in your piggy bank, right? Right. Well done with this lesson.